Welcome back to KC Graphics. My name is Kofi Koma, and in this video, we're going to learn how to create creative backgrounds for our flyers, banners, and for our works. So, I want us to create a background of this flyer. So, the video is going to base on this background. So, we're going to learn how this background is being designed. So let's box on. So I'm going to launch my Adobe Photoshop. So after launching, I'll create a new document. So in my previous video, I taught how and the things needed in creating new documents. So you can go to my videos and select and watch and learn how to create a new document, the things needed. So let's box on. So I'm okay with this dimension. So I'm going to create. So now I have my canvas, my document ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is to draw a rectangle shape, a shape to cover the whole canvas. So mind you, we are going to design the background of this flyer. So then when you look at the background of this flyer, you could see that it's some kind of gradient two colors being blended together to create the, the gradient so we're going to apply gradient on this shape and the shape is going to be our background so go to the fs click on gradient overlay so now this opens i click on the gradient bar and this also opens so on top of the gradient bar we have the opacity stop so this actually regulate the appearance or how visible the color that you select and beneath that we have the color stop that's where you select the color the colors that you want to blend together so we're going to select the first color we're going to select is deep blue deep blue something like this because we have some kind of deep blue at the down there so let's take it as deep blue okay so the next color is some let's say orange something close to orange here so we're gonna take this we're gonna take this i think this is quite okay i'm gonna click on okay so now i'm okay with the two colors i'm going to blend together so now Beneath the bar, we have style. So we have the radial where one color surrounds the other. But then we are going to use linear. So the linear, I'm going to use the angle to position it well. Or you can make this so simple. Assuming the color is being positioned in a way that you don't like it, just click on reverse to change the position of the colors. So the, the, the skill you see here actually gives the blending, how the two colors are being blended to, to get a uniform gradient. So I think this is okay. So now we have our colors done for the gradient. We click on okay. So now I'm done with my gradient for the background. So the next thing I have to bring, and when you look at the flyer, is some kind of um communion day yeah communion it's it's a church flyer so it's about communion so it means i have to bring in things that will depict what the fly is talking about so the fly is talking about a a, a, a communion service so the things that i have to bring on my document should be something that will speak on that communion service so i'm going to take I'll bring the image to my canvas. So I'm going to select that. Uh, so we have the image here. We bring it. So I'll position it a little bit to the top. So, but then when you look critically, 
to see that the down part of the image has been somehow been erased so i'm going to select this so i'm going to erase this portion I'm going to erase this portion yeah sure i'm going to erase that portion So, so now I'm going to use the eraser to do that. I'm using the eraser to do that first. I have to select it, select the layer, rasterize, so that I can have my effect on it. So I'm just cleaning the down portion of it down portion of it small just to get some blending okay so i think this is okay so now here comes the blending so i want to blend this with the background so i want to blend it with the background so this is a procedure you go to the layer panel and we have something called the blending mode and the default is normal so when I move my cursor to the effects or the modes, you could see the transformation there. You could see how it's being transformed. But then I I want a soft light, so I'm going to select this. So in case what you blend with the background and it's like the background is showing too much, you just go to the opacity, reduce it a little bit reduce it a little bit so i'm quite okay with this so we are done with one so when you look at it you could see some kind of wavy background some kind of wavy background like the background is kind of wavy so i'm going to bring the next image so so I'm going to select my wavy fabric and my wavy fabric. So, wavy fabric. So, now I'm going to blend this with the background. Click on this. So, now I can now get my wavy background so i'm going to place it on linear bend i'm going to place it on linear bend but then before i move on um i pictured this in mind that this is what i want to do so i went to the site to download the resources that i need to design this background so you can go to the net to get these pictures and these or images for your works so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply you could see some light some kind of glowing light on the background so i'm going to select that go from my image my so move move select my so I'm going to use this some kind of light, some glowing light showing. So, increase this a little bit, increase that a little bit. And go, it's the same procedure. Click on this. So, move, move, select. So, I'm okay with this. But then it's, it's, it's showing too much. So, I just have to reduce it a little bit. So I have my background. So we could see that our background is just looking the same as this. I could see some kind of spines there. So we're going to add that to it. So it's the same process. Falling. Go, go, go to where your image is. So right there. Is my image selling this? So I'm gonna increase 
Really, really later. The reason I'm using this is just to depict what the program is talking about. So you could see here that it's a communion service, and we all know that communion services talks about. Uh, so I'm going to use this spine. This spine, this yeah. So I'm going to blend this with the background. But then I'm going to erase this portion. I'm going to erase a portion, rasterize, erase this portion, just get something simple there. So go. So now I'm going to blend this with the background. So the same process. So select, click. While I'm moving, I'm getting my effects Head done. So I think I'm okay with this. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. So now, I think I'm okay with this. So. I can now say that we, we we actually have the same background design, same thing here. So we, we, we've now seen the processes and the effects that are being implemented to get this background. So someone can still move on to add up some other features or other things that will make the background look nice. But then this is a standard like I could say this is a great background that you can bring in your details so we are done with our background designing so you could see how everything was done we first created a shape which is going to be our background we applied gradient overlay and we brought in our images which would depict what the fly is about so the fly is actually about a communion service so we have to bring in things or images that will depict what the fly is talking about so that's when we brought in the images and we applied some effects on it that's the blending mode we blend it with the background to have some nice looking background so you could see the end result of the work so now you can move forward and bring your test position them the way you want it Hope you've learned something new. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.